What is going on everybody? This video is going to be a very complicated topic. Not really. Um, this is something that confuses a lot of people that I'm going to, you know, clear up and teach you guys because it's really not that hard to understand. And that is UPC codes, ASIN numbers, FN SKUs, product item, item labels, um, all these words that you probably don't know much about. Don't worry, I'm gonna be going over how they all work and what you need to be using all those different labels on um, and making it simple and clear for all you guys so you don't mess something up down the road. So let's get right into the video. All right, so where to start? We're gonna go ahead and start with ASIN numbers because this is kind of the one thing out of the whole group that doesn't belong that a lot of people uh, confuse and think it belongs somewhere, but it really doesn't. So an ASIN number is basically Amazon's way of uh, keeping track of every single product on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put pictures up here on the uh, screen so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about and where you can find these things. So ASIN numbers are located in the product description for every single product uh, you see on Amazon, there's gonna be an ASIN number dedicated to that one product. So for example, if you go on Amazon and type in uh, iPhone chargers, you can click on any single one of the listings. You scroll down to the product uh, details, you're gonna see the ASIN number, just like we see in the picture right here. So every single product's gonna have that, and it really has nothing to do with you as a seller. Amazon's gonna put this on your listing no matter what. Uh, we don't have to worry about it, we don't have to make our own. Don't even get it in your head. ASIN number is going to be for Amazon, Amazon only. We don't have to worry about it. So now that that's out of the way, we can get onto the real stuff that we're actually going to have to worry about. So I also get a lot of questions about UPC codes and everyone's like, how does it work? Where do I get one? I don't understand where it goes. Where doesn't it go? Um, and this can be really a big issue if you don't know what you're doing because you can end up putting it on the wrong thing and then Amazon won't even know what you're doing. It won't make any sense. So this is something to for sure, uh, honestly, this video is extremely important because if you mess this stuff up, then you could be messing up the entire process. So for a UPC code, you're going to need a UPC code for every single item you're gonna be selling. So if I'm gonna be selling, let's say watches, uh, then I need one UPC code, let's say for this exact watch, I'm gonna sell this watch in silver, same brand, everything then I need one UPC code for selling this watch to make the listing. So for example, I'm gonna show you guys what a UPC code looks like right here. And to get a UPC code, you can go on Barcode Mania and it's like $5 for one. Uh, there's also other websites that you guys can go to to get these, but they're extremely cheap. But I like to say that a UPC code is basically a one-time use. You use it once, you don't have to worry about it again. A lot of people think, oh, do I have to send this to my supplier? Do I need to print it out? Do I need to put it on any uh, packages? No, you don't. A UPC code is a one-time use. You're gonna buy your UPC code from Barcode Mania or you know any other website, and then you're gonna use that UPC code. You're gonna use it to make your Amazon listing. So when you go on to make a listing and it says, you know, you're gonna type in your new product, it's gonna ask you for a UPC code. And then we're gonna take our UPC code that we just bought for $5, we're gonna put it on there, and then it's done. You can throw it in the trash, which I don't, you know, obviously don't throw it away. You might, might as well keep it. Uh, but after that, after you make your listing and you type in your UPC code, you're not gonna ever use it again. So it's a one-time use, and then that is it. Now, if you decide to start a second product, so say we are selling these watches, they're selling great, and now we wanna find another product to sell, and we found uh, this microphone. So we now need another UPC code because this is a completely different product in a whole nother listing. So basically it's one UPC code per listing. So uh, one for the watch and then one for the microphone. Those are two separate listings. We need two separate UPC codes. And that is it, one time use for both. And then we don't ever have to worry about it again. And that is how the UPC code works. So now for one of the most important uh, labels or terms is gonna be the FN SKU or FN SKU, um, also known as product item label, also known as the Amazon label. So Amazon label, product item label, FN SKU, FN SKU. Those all mean the same thing. Now, a lot of people get confused by this and go, oh, is this separate from this? Is this separate from this? No, all of those things are all the same thing. 
Uh, the real word you should be using is FN SKU or FN SKU. Um, I'm just going to say FN SKU because that's what I always say. Uh, so that is going to be Amazon's label that is going to be on every single one of your packages that's going to get shipped to the customer. Now, a lot of people ask me, where do I find this? Where do I get it? Do I have to buy it? No, you don't have to buy it. And you can find it when you make your Amazon shipping plan. So when you make your shipping plan, and I'm going to leave a uh, thing up here. Well, I don't even know what you call it, but I'm going to leave one of those things up here to my uh, shipping plan video to help you guys out. If you want to see how to exactly get it, uh, click that link. So basically you're going to get your FN SKU once you make your shipping plan, and then it's going to ask you how many you want to print. So let's say we are ordering 100 units of these pens from China, from our supplier. And, uh, then we go on to make our shipping plan. So on the shipping plan, we have to let Amazon know how many units we're shipping to the Amazon warehouse. And then uh, once you type that in, then we have to print the labels for it. And now the labels are gonna be what we talked about, which is the FN SKU. I'm gonna leave a picture right here of an FN SKU. Basically it's the barcode, the SKU number, and then it's gonna give you a little description of what the product is. That's why a lot of people call it a product item label. And then below that, it usually says whether it's used or new, whatever the condition is of the product. So basically, you need an FN SKU on every single box that is getting sent to Amazon. And these are individual boxes. So say we are selling pens in packs of one. So every time someone buys one pen on our listing, this is getting its own box. And then when this box gets shipped to the customer, it needs to have the FN SKU on the box or else Amazon isn't gonna be able to keep track of it or send it out or scan it. So it must have an FN SKU on it. So let's go over this one more time really quickly because this is really easy to mess up. And if you do mess it up, it's really bad. So basically the FN SKU number you're gonna get from your shipping plan when you make your shipping plan. Uh, it's gonna ask you how many units are coming into the Amazon warehouse. You're gonna type in, let's say 100, for example, we're getting 100 pens and they're all individually packed in 100 boxes. That means we need 100 FN SKU numbers from Amazon. And then you're gonna download the little PDF it's gonna give you, click on it, and you should see 100 FN SKU numbers. Now, if you guys are not sure what I'm talking about, go ahead and click that link to the uh, shipping plan video and you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about because I go over step-by-step -step how to do this. So now once you receive your 100 FN SKUs from Amazon when you made your shipping plan, now where do they go? you need to send them to your supplier. You send them to the supplier and they are gonna have to uh, sticker them on every single box that you're gonna be sending to Amazon because these are all sold individually. They all need their own FN SKU. Now, if we're selling packs of 50 pens per listing, so if they click uh, buy on your listing, they're getting 50 pens because that's what you're selling, then we can have 50 of these pens packed in one box with one FN SKU. But if we're selling packs of one, so they're individual, uh, most people are gonna be selling you know, individual products, then we only need one FN SKU per box. But uh, every single box in the shipment, so all 100 individual boxes of one pen each need one FN SKU on every single box. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. I answer every single comment. And uh, now we're gonna get on to the next term. So the next thing is going to be box labels. And this is where a lot of people get messed up because they go box labels. Didn't we just put the FN SKU on all the boxes? Now what do we need? What is a box label? Is it the same thing? No, it's not the same thing. What this is, is I need to stop holding this pen. It's probably distracting you. So what this is, is basically your box label is going to be on the entire box holding your 100 pens of 100 individually packed boxes. Now, if that doesn't make sense, uh, think about it this way. Do you think your supplier is gonna send 100 little boxes with one pen each um, to the United States or to the UK or wherever you guys are selling? No, obviously that would, get, that would be chaos. Sending 100 little boxes all the way to another country, um, that would probably, you probably lose some in the process, something would get messed up. It's not very smart and it's just not effective. It's probably not gonna work. And that's not even how the shipping works. It just, you can't use an Amazon barcode to ship something across to another country. It just doesn't make sense. So basically this is where we get our box labels. Now we put our box labels on the big box with all the hundred little boxes in it. This is what actually gets shipped in the containers or in the airplane or whatever you're using. 
to your country or to your uh, importer. Now, a lot of people ask, where do I pay for this? Or how do I get it? And you don't have to pay for it again. Amazon's gonna supply you with it. And it's the same way of the FN SKU. So in the FN SKU, you're gonna get that in your shipping plan. In your box labels, you're also gonna get in your shipping plan. Uh, the FN SKU you're gonna get first while you're going through the shipping plan, you're gonna get receive those first and you could print those first. And then towards the end, when you're finally finishing up the shipping plan, it's gonna ask you to print the box labels. And then once you print the box labels, you send those to your supplier as well. And then your supplier will put those on the big boxes uh, with all your little boxes inside with the FN SKUs on the little boxes. So let's say we got a lot of products. We got 10,000 of these pens individually packed. And each pen, every, all 10,000 of the little boxes need 10,000 FN SKUs, one per each box. Now, let's say this takes up multiple big boxes. They, need, they can't fit all 10,000 into one big shipping box. So now we need three big shipping boxes. Now that means we are gonna have to type in the dimensions and the weight of the boxes on the shipping plan, which I show you guys in the shipping plan video once again. Uh, so we're gonna have to get those dimensions and those weights from our supplier and we go ahead and type those in and then Amazon is gonna send us however many box labels we need. So if they have three huge boxes full of pens, then we're gonna need three box labels. Now let's say we have, let's say for example, 2000 pens in each box, 2000, 2000, 2000. That means we're gonna have 2000 FN SKUs in this box, 2000 FN SKUs in this box, 2000 FN SKUs in that box. That is a tongue twister. And then we're gonna have three box labels, one, two, three. So box labels are for the big shipping boxes that are going across the you know, ocean to your country. And then the FN SKU is gonna be the little item labels on each little individually packed product in the big shipping box. So now that I'm actually talking about this, I can understand why it can be confusing because you know I'm talking about it and I'm realizing it. So I hope this all made sense. If you guys don't understand, like I said, go down below, comment, I will get back to you. I will let you know uh, what to do or give you my help. Now that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I hope you all learned something new, hopefully. Uh, make sure you guys go down below and click on that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. And also, last but not least, go down below, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, let me know if you have any questions. Also, let me know if you subscribe to the channel and I will welcome you to the channel or you know, answer your question. So that is gonna be it for this video and I will catch you guys in the next video.